and All right, I'm, I'm clicking live. All right. And meeting is now streaming live. So we are, <laughs> you found another office. Uh, yeah, hopefully it's not as loud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, um, hello, Facebook world. I'm, I'm here with uh, Stephanie Nikitas of, and I hope I didn't totally destroy that last name. Got it. <laughs> of uh, Cross, CrossFit Winter Park. Um, obviously, they're very well known in Central Florida. They do a lot of great things up there. And uh, health and wellness is, and fitness is obviously very important right now. So uh, here she is. Thanks for coming on. I really appreciate having you. No, this is awesome. Thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, and I know there's a lot Glad of people out there right now that I'm sure um, don't know what to do or where to go or how to adjust or if you're even offering yeah. virtual stuff. So. Um, I know one thing that is uh, that you wanted to discuss is obviously how important fitness and wellness is right now. So I'll kind of give you the floor mm -hmm. and let you take it away. Yeah. Um, well, thank you again for having me. Um, I, you know, just in general and in, in these just crazy times, you know, there's so many different adjectives to describe what's going on in the world. But, um, you know, just taking care of ourselves health wise and, you know, fitness, of course, plays a big role, but it's nutrition and sleep and just it, it's a whole, uh, you know, mindset really. Um, so with stress levels being, you know, super high for, for people right now, we kind of with uncertainty, it's, it's so important to be taking care of ourselves so that um, we can be as healthy as possible to stop the spread of the virus, stop future viruses and, um, you know, for the most part, people that have been healthy um, throughout their lives, they kind of have, have, you know, a step ahead and things, but, um, uh, you know, it's just crazy what's going on right now. So we're, we're here to help um, either bring on, you know, new people into the fitness world or obviously um, just support our members through all of this and continue to provide them with a, a great level of, of coaching and, and workouts and programs and everything that they can do at home. Um, and so we're doing that right now. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and that's great. And it, it seems like your community is pretty close with each other too. Cause I know yeah. um, I talked to a bunch of people and the first, the first CrossFit name that comes out of their mouth is definitely you guys. So that's cool. awesome. And I know that, um, I know we had Jack on earlier. So if anyone needs any protein powder, she has plenty of that. Uh, she can get it yeah. to you, mail it to you. But so going from there, obviously you're doing, um, you've got some member memberships that, that you do provide even in these times. I'm sure you've probably adjusted some because of the virtual platform. So what sure. are you doing right now? Obviously this has affected the gym business. We know that because it's a close knit there's no social distancing about CrossFit. So um, <laughs> obviously it's affected. So the memberships you're doing now at home, as far as workouts, nutrition plans, tell us about them. Well, so, you know, we were fortunate to have a platform that we use at the gym called Wattify, which is our membership programming software, I guess. And so everybody's already had an app on their phone where the night before the workout of the day, they can look on their app, they can see what the workout is coming the next day. And then as they are here in the gym, typically, if you come to the 6am class, for example, you, you check into class either on your phone or on our TV screens up front. And um, then let's say, you know, I'm coming to class at 12 p.m. I can go into my app and I can look and see what the 5 a.m. class did and what the 6 a.m. class did. And let's say, Daniel, you did the 6 a.m. and you took, you know, 12 minutes to do today's workout. Like I can actually write into your profile and say, hey, great job on the workout this morning. Or I can like it or, you know, comment. So we kind of already have that structure for inside the gym. So we just had to take that and pivot a little bit and then the programming and the workouts that we're providing and writing up for people are workouts that they can do at home. So now every day, everybody's checked into one big class of the day. We don't have separate times because you can obviously work out at home whenever it's convenient for you and your schedule now. And um, so you check into class and then you see today's workout and you do the workout with uh, the equipment that you have. So We've loaned out a ton of equipment at the gym, kettlebells, dumbbells, plates, sandbags, ball slams. And so 
most people have a little bit of something they can work with and some members did already have um, some items at home so all the workouts that we're writing you can do with one or two or zero pieces of equipment we're making it kind of universal for that that's awesome and yeah. <clears throat> excuse me and obviously hopefully you get all that stuff back <laughs> yeah yeah we will. <laughs> and uh so it's kind of you already they already had the virtual platform so you just kind of had to add to it so it wasn't like yeah. we start, you had to start mm -hmm. fresh like a lot of places so so basically 100 percent fresh yeah yeah, so basically you you do do a virtual workout and maybe that first one you do is live, but that's the one that sticks for the day and people can just log in at their right their time and they'll so, see you or, so or, yeah, so the, or whoever's doing the workout that day to to kind right. of do it with to guide them. Yeah. So the big aspect, uh, I mean, one of the things about CrossFit and why you come here into the gym is to see us as coaches and that we're there at the beginning of every class saying, okay here's how you do the workout. We go through the demonstration. We talk about what each movement is and uh, proper form and technique. So obviously then we don't have that aspect. So at home, we have filmed a video for every single workout. Um, you know, sometimes the video is 10 to 12 minutes long of one of us, um, Carlos, Bowie, myself, talking through the workout saying, okay, here's the warm up section. Here's how you do A, B, C, and D. And then we'll show you how to do it. Um, so we're linking that into the workout each day so that um, they're basically getting us like we're standing in front of the class <laughs> saying, okay, here's how you do the workout. Yeah, because you um, also still want to make sure they're doing it the right way. Sure. So how sure. about the adjustment now? Like, did you always want to have like these little virtual videos that you can market and show now? <laughs> now it's all there, it's right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we've always had a YouTube page with like little demo links of, you know, here's how you do a, you know, a dead bug or a bird dog or random movements. Um, we're using that a lot more now, not just for like the big long workout of the day explanation, but these little tidbits of like small movements um, that we're throwing up on there so people can just access those all the time to see. And then we link those like within the workout as well. Oh, very cool. And um so to, to kind of go off into the next step, obviously, what um, what is your advice right now for everybody as far as the supplements they're taking, vitamins and minerals, uh, keeping their immune system boosted, and, yeah. and as far as if they need to uh, get any of that stuff, maybe they've run out of it and they, they need more of it. Right. Um, well, I mean, right now, more than ever, it's just like, it's so important to just eat clean foods. It's real easy when we're stressed to, you know, grab a bag of processed whatever uh, and just chow down on that. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with doing that every now and then, but um, it shouldn't be like the main staple of your diet right now. Um, and shopping is hard just because, you know, it's, it's, people don't feel like going out or, you know, you got to order Amazon Prime or whatever it might be. Um, but you just want to be eating like as much non-processed, clean, whole foods, uh, fruits, vegetables, lean meats, all that kind of stuff. Um, as much as possible. But yes, uh, you know, supplementing is can be important. I'm surely not a doctor or don't play one on TV, but, um, you know, not a registered dietitian or anything like that. But, um, you know, there's a lot of advice out there, other people that I follow that are way more knowledgeable than me about supplements. But but right now, um, vitamin D, vitamin C, uh, quercetin for immune, um, also a lot of the adaptogens like mushroom type mixes, um, which comes in like either little droppers or powder forms um, are helping boost immune system. So um, there's a lot of different stuff out there. We, we work with a company named Thorn Research who uh, is just an amazing company. They're kind of pharmaceutical grade uh, supplements, everything from your vitamin C to uh, you know, liver detox and all kinds of different things. And they have a whole immune support section there too. So um, we carry a lot of their products in the, in the gym, as well as members can have their own at home ordering um, profile for Thorn um, and just order everything uh, that they want from their website. And it just gets shipped to their house too. So. Awesome. So they, yeah, whenever, whenever we get off the call, obviously I'd love for you to put all your information in the sure. comments so people can get a hold of you. And then, um, I, and we'll get into obviously the importance of sleep and, and, you know, I was going to ask you, are you still doing some private training classes too? Can people still 
hire you to be like their virtual private trainer if, if they're not someone that um yeah is good in groups <laughs> you, just like this we can do zoom um private training um th there is you know the ability to be out in a park six to ten feet apart from each other on an individual basis um but mainly doing more online Zoom type of stuff too, which uh, you know can be done from from home. And um, trainer, you know, usually uh, you know a bunch of the coaches have their own personal training clients, so um, they work with them on what their individual goals are. Um, obviously, now in this situation, it would be like, what equipment do they have at home? And we still have a little bit more to lend out to if somebody needed something. Um, and then that coach can write a program um, for that person. Yeah, I mean, I, <clears throat> excuse me, and like I told you earlier, I'm, I'll have one of your trainers on Friday, who um, really focuses on the wrestling kids. So he's yep. been a huge help with my son, Daniel, and I'll have he him on awesome, Friday man. and I'll have him in the wrestling room. So hopefully we can get, get you some more uh, kids that way. That'll be awesome. Cool. How yeah, about the awesome. Winter Park cryo, I always mess it up, <laughs> cryo. Cryos. <laughs> Cryo sauna, yeah. So um, I have that business inside the gym here. It's a the cold treatment. Stand inside a nitrogen chamber for for three minutes and uh, drops your body temperature down pretty quickly. Um, it's amazing for just recovery, fighting inflammation. So whatever um, pain, muscle soreness. Um, I have a lot of outside clients that come into Cryo, not just gym members. So. Uh, it could be anything from arthritis to back pain, neck pain, um, and totally helps with that. And of course, you have like the athletic side as well, um, helping with muscle recovery and repair. Um, right now, uh, not running it just because of the, the non-essential business type of situation, but hopefully we'll get that back up by the end of the month. Awesome. Yeah, I got to get, I know before all this, Jack was telling me, hey, you got to get Daniel in there after. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, After tournaments and stuff because it'll really help his muscles kind of and he's you know he's 14 now so he's getting bigger and getting to that point now where he's starting to get muscle he's been working gotcha. out today so it's been good so um uh i know that you were you were talking a little bit about personal tracking devices uh i think you said mm -hmm. you had a partnership with whoop or something yeah uh i got on my wrist right now um <clears throat> something i've been working with them for close to three years, I guess, or have had a whoop for three years. And then all the coaches seem to get on and then it, we ended up getting members on. And so um, just because we've been early adopter, they invited us to be part of what they're calling a pilot community program. So only a few communities or gyms throughout the special works. And um, we have a special team. Uh, can you hear me? Did I can I... hear you now. Yeah, you froze for a second. Oh, but you all right. <laughs> I was so we so we have a team. Uh, everybody from CrossFit that uh, that has a Whoop, but uh, the main part about it is it's a huge help with um, your recovery and understanding your stress levels and sleep. Um, it has taught us so much about seeing how that affects um, just your overall wellness. And um, it kind of tells you days, it gives you like a green, yellow or red scale of recovery. And if it's a green day, it means you're, you're good to go. You're, you're ready to take on more stress or strain that day. But if you're woke up one morning and you're in the red, you might want to consider like taking a, a lighter day. So, um, so right, now we're, wanna... right now we're all in the red. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been interesting. So what whoop is actually doing is try is, is helping with some COVID situation or I don't know, tracking in a way because thing called Tory rate while you're sleeping. And they just put out some podcasts and some info on they, uh, people can actually write in and report if they do have COVID and then you can see changes in people's respiratory rates. That kind of is oh, a wow. slight correlation to um, having a respiratory issue. So um, they, they've done some interesting work in that aspect. Oh, well, that's awesome. And, and people yeah. can purchase that through you or you have- Yeah, a we have a, a unique link that gives a, a, a code for, for a discount on it. Yeah, well, it's I'll on- look at all that on the, on the comments. Instagram page and stuff. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, put that on the comments and everything. So, cool. man, that's great. I'm glad that you guys are up and running. Well, you know, adjusting, obviously. 
Cause, yeah, uh, we're taking it day by day. Oh, yeah. it's good. Well, and um, is there, uh, as far as, you know, the last question I would have, and I know you had mentioned that you're giving uh, your um, students items to take home and do with, but let's say you're somebody at home and and you were used to doing like the WODs or the box jumps or the pull-ups or the adjusted stuff or whatever it is you do. And, and now you don't have that type of equipment at home. How would you, or what would you recommend? How would you improvise? Are there different things that, that um, you offer? Yeah. So, I mean, what we've done is, is right from the beginning kind of created some videos. You can find them on our YouTube channel. You can do a lot with a backpack. I mean, most people in their house have some sort of backpack. You take that, you fill it with either clothes or clothes that don't wiggle around too much to add some weight to it. And you can, you can do a lot of things. We have workouts where we actually have prescribed, you know, backpack uh, ground to overhead or backpack squats, um, backpack kettle on the top of a backpack so it can turn into a kettlebell. So there's different ways of being creative. Um, you know, you might not have a box, but you might have, you know, a bench outside in the backyard, or you could go to a park and find a bench and do step ups or jumps and jumping over things. So there's a lot of different uh, ways to do things. I mean, uh, even yeah, you with see like, some funny stuff on like, you see people like wrapping their towels through the poles and yeah, yeah. Up to the tree branch. Hopefully they're doing we stuff be safe that are, that are strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing too dangerous, but that's awesome. uh, yeah. Well, that's good. Like I said, I'm glad that, um, that you guys have, have made some adjustments and you're pivoting and shifting like the rest of us and, uh, always happy to see you. And I'm glad you came on and, uh, um, thank you. Is, is there any other important things that you'd like to get out there that I might've missed? No, uh, I don't know. I'm just appreciative of, of you for doing any of our members are listening. Um, we're just so thankful for them for, for sticking with us too and believing in us. And um, it really means a lot to myself and the coaches that we're able to continue to sort of stay alive and get through this so we can be here at the end to, you know, keep providing this service for people, you know, after we're all sort of back to normal, whatever that is going to be. But um, we're just thankful for, for our membership base that, that we can um, continue to do this. Hope. Yeah, it's, it's a good thing. And um, what I'll do when, when I get, um, I usually, I'll download the video onto YouTube. So okay. once, I, once I do that, I'll send it to you. Do you awesome. want the, do you want the YouTube version or do you want me to send you the when I pull the video off Facebook, just send you the clean version of. Yeah. And I can upload it onto our YouTube channel as well. Sure. So I'll, um, I'll email all that to you. And again, put all your information okay. in the comments so people can get a hold of you. And um, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Like I said, I'll, I'll have, I'll have one of your trainers on next week. So um, hopefully, or no Friday. Okay. So that'll be good for Friday. All right. Yeah. Awesome. All right. You well, take care, Stephanie, and be okay. safe. All right. Have a good you too.